Fallout Commander decks have continued to keep the secondary market hot this week, so instead of 10 Magic cards, we're looking at the top 15 hot Magic cards of the week. This video is sponsored by Flipside Gaming. Check out FlipsideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Right now you can pre-order Outlaws of Thunder Junction or find a vast number of great products on their website. Remember, shipping is free in the U.S. if your order is over $100 or consists only of singles, plus you no longer need any promo codes on their website. The savings is built right into the prices that you see on the site. Same great prices, same great products, and same great service without the extra step. Find their link in the description below. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to another edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. And like I said in the cold open, we're looking at the top 15 hottest Magic cards of the week this time around. As always, they are based on two things. We want to see a true increase in the percentage value of the cards over the course of the week. We also want to see an increase in the number of sales from week to week. Now, like I said, Fallout Commander decks are the key driver for a lot of the cards we're going to see today in the Market Watch. Not all of them, but many of them. There's players trying to upgrade these Fallout decks. There's other players that are taking cards from them and building fresh decks completely around them. Some of the cards we'll see today probably won't surprise you, but others might. Quickly before we get into it though, just a few things. First off, I do want to say thank you to one of the viewers who gave a super thanks tip for last Tuesday's video, and that is Todd Branch. Todd, thank you so much for the very generous tip. Todd's also one of our gold patrons. Thank you for all the support, Todd. We couldn't do this without viewers like yourself. Truly, truly, I appreciate all the help of the channel. And I also want to thank one of our gold patrons as well, Wolf of Tin Street Dash Ban. Wolf has been a gold patron for quite some time. Again, just really helps the channel. Thank you so much, Wolf. And one more thing before we get started. This video is sponsored by FlipsideGaming.com. Right now, you can pre-order Outlaws of Thunder Junction on their website, but they also have a whole lot of other MTG products, a big variety there. Plus, they have some other non-MTG related things too, so definitely check them out. Remember, if your order's over $100 or it consists only of singles, shipping will be free in the United States. And down below, you will find direct links to their site. All right, without any further ado, let's get into it. Number 15 is Endurance Bobblehead. This goes up 213 to 394, a 120% increase. And Bobbleheads remain hot this week. In fact, four of them made our Hot 15 list. This one is found in the Fallout Science with an exclamation point commander deck. Like all Bobbleheads, this one is appearing in several commander decks, old and new. It, of course, is in some fresh builds around a couple cards from Science, Dr. Madison Lee, and Liberty Prime Recharge. But other players want Endurance Bobblehead to upgrade the Mutant Menace Fallout deck. Beyond that, though, I have seen it in fresh builds around the front-facing commander from there, the Wise Mothman. However, there's another popular build around a card from the Hal Caesar Fallout deck that is running this bobblehead, too, as well as a number of other cards you're going to see in the list today. Of course, that card is Mr. House, President and CEO. Don't worry, this is not the last time you're going to see Mr. House in today's video. Number 14 is Locket of Yesterdays. This is up 216 to 466. That's an 86% increase. There are a few cards that let you break the commander deck limitation rules, and the latest one came out recently with Murders at Carlisle Manor. That card is Slime Against Humanity. Long story short, commander players are picking up Locket of Yesterdays for these Slime Commander builds, which has led to the spike that you see on the screen. The most popular commander for these decks is Adrix and Nev Twin Casters. Number 13 is our second bobblehead. This is Agility Bobblehead up 284 to 566. That's a 101% increase. This bobblehead is from the Scrappy Survivors Fallout Commander deck, and like the previous one, it's showing up in tons of different builds, old and new in that format. It's in fresh builds around the front face and commander from its pre-con, that's Dog Meat Ever Loyal. Some players want Agility Bobblehead, though, to upgrade the Science Commander deck, too, while others are putting in a fresh builds around a couple cards from there. Dr. Madison Lee, and Liberty Prime recharged again. Still, other players want Agility Bobblehead to use in Commander Builds around a card from the Fallout Mutant Menace Commander deck, Piper Wright Public Reporter. But again, one of the more popular Commander Builds running Agility Bobblehead is the one around Mr. House, President and CEO from the Hell Caesar Fallout deck. Number 12 is our third Bobblehead Strength Bobblehead. It goes up 356 to 916. That's a 64% increase. You might remember this was number 15 on our hot list last week. Returns this week and it is from the Mutant Menace Fallout deck. Again, it's showing up all over the place though in the Commander format. Not surprisingly, you see this in fresh builds around a couple cards from its pre-con. 
the Wise Mothman, and the Master Transcendent. Strength Bobblehead is also being used to upgrade the Science deck, plus it's in fresh builds around the front facing commander from there, Dr. Madison Lee. And finally, it's also in the very popular commander build around, you guessed it, Mr. House President and CEO from Hell Caesar. Number 11 is Component Pouch. The Adventures in the Forgotten Realms commander copy, which is from the Dungeons of Death deck, goes up 240 this week to 350. That's a 218% increase. And the copy from the list goes up 368 to 671. That is a 121% increase. Well, here's a card that allows you to roll a die. So I'm sure you already see where this is going. This didn't see all that much play up until recently. Sometimes you'd see it in a commander build around the partner commanders, Sword Coast Sailor and Willblade of Frontiers, for example. But now a lot of players are scrambling for a copy of this because it does play well in those shiny new Mr. House President and CEO commander builds. That brings us to where we normally begin with number 10, the deck of many things. It goes up 378 this week to $11.18. That is a 51% increase. This was our number 25 hot card last week when we actually looked at 25 cards because the market was going crazy. It moves up to number 10 though this time. And basically everything I said about the previous card is why this one is moving up too. It didn't see much play, but it could appear in a few commander builds like Sword Coast Sailor and Will Blade of Frontiers again, for example. That was until the Fallout Hail Caesar commander deck brought us everyone's favorite new commander, Mr. House, President and CEO. And now copies of the deck of many things are flying off the shelves. Number 9 is Cybermen Squadron. This goes up $4 to $9.99. That's a 67% increase. And this is from the Doctor Who Commander deck, Masters of Evil. Since it came out, it has seen a fair amount of Commander play in a bunch of builds. One of the more popular decks was Urza Chief Artificer, but now Fallout is creating more demand for this card too. Some wanted to upgrade the Science deck or put it in fresh builds around Dr. Madison Lee. However, the real reason Cybermen Squadron is spiking is due to, you guessed it, Mr. House, President and CEO. The card is showing up in a lot of those builds now. I play the stereo loud when I'm away from the Maddening Hex. Number 8 is Maddening Hex. It goes up $4 in a cent to $15.99 for a 33% increase. This is from the Adventures in the Forgotten Realms Draconic Rage Commander deck. It used to see some legacy play, but I don't really see it there all that much anymore. It was getting a little commander play in a few different builds though. The most popular one again was Sword Coast Sailor and Will Blade of Frontiers decks. But wait a minute, does playing Maddening Hex lead to you rolling a die? Yup, another card spiking as players look for copies for their Mr. House, President, and CEO Commander decks. Number 7 is Vexing Puzzle Box. This goes up 430 to 1510. That's a 40% increase. This was number 18 on our hot list last week. Remains hot this week, and I bet you can't guess why. Eighth verse, same as the first. This was seeing a little commander play. Sometimes you would see it in those partner builds with Sword Coast Sailor and Will Blade of Frontiers, for example. But yet again, we have a card jumping because players want it for their Mr. House President and CEO decks. And you thought Vojo Jaws of the Conclave spiked some cards. Number six is Danny Pink. This goes up 534 to 948. That's a 129% increase. This card was number 21 on our hot list last week. And finally, a card that remains hot for a reason other than Mr. House. This one is from the Doctor Who Paradox Power Commander deck. It's seen some commander play in different builds. One of the most popular ones was around the partner commanders, the 13th Doctor and Yasmin Khan, which makes sense since those cards are from the same pre-con. But now Danny Pink is getting a boost thanks to a Fallout Commander deck. Some want this to upgrade the Mutant Menace deck, while others are putting in a fresh builds around its front facing commander, the Wise Mothman. Number 5 is our fourth and final bobblehead today. This is Luck Bobblehead. It goes up 539 to 799. That's a 207% increase. This one is found in the Fallout Hail Caesar Commander deck, and like the other bobbleheads we looked at, it too is seeing play in a bunch of Commander decks, old and new. You do see this in fresh builds around a couple cards from Hail Caesar, the front facing Commander, Caesar Legion's Emperor, and of course, Mr. House President and CEO, because why not? But you do see other players picking this up in order to upgrade the Science and Mutant Menace Commander decks. Plus, you see it in builds there around the front-facing commander from both of those decks, Dr. Madison Lee and the Wise Mothman, respectively. Number four is Lumbering Mega Sloth. It goes up 727 to 836. That's a 667% increase if you're doing the math at home. 
This is one of the breakout cards from the Fallout products, and you can find it in the Mutant Menace deck. As you can imagine, it is also in fresh builds around some cards from there. The Wise Mothman, the Master Transcendent, and Agent Frank Horrigan. But the real reason this card is taken off is not Commander, but instead, this is moving because of Legacy. Lumbering Megasoth is showing up in some Depths builds in the format. Turns out that Dark Depths enters with 10 Ice Counters on it. If you were to play that on turn 1, and then Yavimaya Cradle of Growth on turn 2, you could get the Megasoth out on turn 2 and attacking on turn 3. We'll have to see if this sticks around in those builds, but right now it is a popular option. Number 3 is Reckless Endeavor, up $9.30 to $28.28, that's a 49% increase. This is from the Adventures of the Forgotten Realms Planar Portal Commander deck, and this is the third week in a row this has been showing up in our hot MTG card videos. Last week it was number 16, but this time it jumps to number 3. Here's another card that was seeing some commander play in a few different decks. The most popular build was Prosper Tonebound, which happens to be the front-facing commander from its pre-con, but now Fallout Commander products are causing this card to spike. By now, you should know where we're going with this. Here's another card players are picking up to put in their builds around Mr. House, President and CEO. Number two this week is Comet Stellar Pup. It goes up 1069 to 2599. That's a 70% increase. This was number 12 last week, and it is one of the eternal legal cards from Infinity. I remember when this was getting some legacy play. You don't see that quite as much nowadays. Recently, though, it was still getting a little commander play. Sometimes I would see this in Ren and Siri Inseparable, for example. It's a flavor win there. But Comet wants you to roll a die. So you know this is hot now because commander players want it in there. Say it with me now, Mr. House President and CEO builds. Although I'm also seeing some use comment now to upgrade the Fallout Science deck, while others are putting in a fresh builds around Dr. Madison Lee from there, but Mr. House is still the true key driver for the price increase. And finally, coming in at number one is Charismatic Conquer. This goes up 1340 to 3273 this week for a 69% increase. I'm sure there'll be no lack of comments in my comment section this week. This is from the Lost Caverns of Ixalan Blood Rights Commander deck, and it was our number 14 card last week. It has seen a lot of commander play since it came out. Typically it appears in Clavel and Yo first of the Blessed builds, which makes sense since that is from its pre-con. Not surprisingly, you also see this in Edgar Markov frequently, among other places. In fact, there was some increased interest in this card recently because some wanted it for commander decks around a card for murders at Carlaw Manor, Delny Streetwise Lookout, but now this is hot again because of Fallout. It is a good upgrade to the Hail Caesar deck, and I'm seeing it in a lot of fresh builds around the front facing commander from there, Caesar Legion's Emperor. Beware the Ides of March, poor Caesar isn't even the biggest legendary creature in his own commander deck. Alright, with that being said, that's going to do it for our top 15 hot cards this week. Now tomorrow we're going to be back with our top 10 cold cards, because there are some cards moving down, a little bit harder to find compared to hot cards right now but there are some that are going down in value. You might find some deals out there. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a regular stream yet this week. If I do, it will be Friday afternoon, so make sure you have your notifications on. I do plan on doing a gold patron-only stream and also a hero and legend tier YouTube channel member stream. I don't know yet if those are going to be the same stream or not, so stay tuned. I'll have more information posted on Patreon soon for that. Until next time, though, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.